Good morning students. Welcome to 8th standard. Today we are going to learn a new chapter on indices and cube root. Now before we start with this new chapter, I want everybody to open page number 14 of your mathematics textbook and proceed to next line. Thank you. Okay student before starting with the chapter let us see what are indices indices is nothing but a index number now what is index number a number which is raised to a power the power also known as index tells you how many times you have to multiply the number by itself for an example 2 raised to 5 now you can see here an index number is written 2 raised to 5 here 2 is the base and the number which is written above the head that is on the top of 2 5 is called index or you can also call this a power so how to read this 2 raised to 5 or 2 to the power 5 means that this number means that you have to multiply 2 by itself 5 times is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equals to 32 now you got it what are indices is nothing but a index number which is present in the form of a raised to m okay student now we have learned what is indices now we will see laws of indices some rules of indices as you can see in the first rule a raised to m into a raised to n is equals to a raised to m plus n if in between multiplication sign is there so you will do addition you can see example as well 2 raised to 5 into 2 raised to 3 is equals to 2 raised to 8 that is 5 plus 3 is 8 now second rule second law of indices is a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equals to a raised to m minus n here if the division is present in between the indices you will do subtraction as you can see 5 raised to 7 divided by 5 raised to 3 is equals to 5 raised to 4 that is 7 minus 3 now third rule says a raised to m is to n that means two index is present so you will do multiplication of the index that is of the power base is same but the index will be present two that means a raised to m into n as you can see here example also 10 raised to 3 is to 7 so 3 sevens are 21 so 10 raised to 21 now if the power is 1 that is fourth rule a raised to 1 so the answer will be same base that is a for example as you can see 17 raised to 1 if the power is 1 the product will be the same as the base that is 17 now next rule a raised to 0 if 0 index is present 0 that means the answer will be 1 so 34 raised to 0 so answer will be 1 next law as you can see a upon b raised to m so one numerator is present and denominator is present as you can see a upon b raised to m now the index will be same that is a raised to m upon b raised to m as you can see 5 upon 6 raised to 2 now the denominator also will get the same index 25 that is 5 square is 25 again 6 square will be 36 now next law a raised to minus m here the sign is minus in index minus sign is present that means we are going to write it in a inverse form so for inverse form we will mention 
numerator as a 1 so 1 upon a raised to m now the negative sign will be removed as you can see my 9 minus 2 base is 9 index is minus 2 so again square of 9 okay 1 upon 9 square that means 81 9 nines are 81 so 1 upon 81 and the last one a raised to x upon y here the fraction index is present in the fraction form you can say it as a rational form so we will write it as a square root y square root a raised to x okay so for an example 49 1 upon 2 will be written as square root 2 square root of 49 is equals to 7 i hope you understand okay students now we have discussed about laws of indices based on that in your test book page number 14 you got some questions to be solved as you can see using laws of indices on page number 14 write proper numbers in the following boxes nine sums are given now i want everybody take out your pencil and write down the answers in your test book and move to further slide students on page number 14 of your test book you can see we are going to learn about meaning of numbers when the index is a rational number of the form 1 upon n now here 1 upon n is the rational number that means it is present in a fraction form okay this is present in a fraction form so earlier the square of a number is shown writing the number with index 2 as you can see earlier we studied whenever we are going to take out any square of a number we are going to mention as a 2 here as you can see here 2 okay now the square root okay the new word came root the square root of a number is written by showing the index as 1 upon 2 for an example we are going to show the square root of 9 so we are going to write 9 as a base and here will be 1 upon 2 to show the square root of a number understood the square root of 9 is written as this sign is called the radical sign okay as you can see this sign is called as a radical sign as i explained here only using index it is expressed as 9 1 upon 2 so this is the radical sign of square root this is also called as a radical sign and also called as a root okay so square root of 9 is mentioned as a 9 1 upon 2 in general the square of a is written as as written as a raised to 2 as you can see a raised to 2 thus and the square root of a is written as you can see this is radical sign a and here will be the 2 square root or if to remove this radical sign you can write in this way also a raised to 1 upon 2 that is square root of a for writing square root only this radical sign is used 2 is not written okay 2 is not written you if you are not writing 2 it's okay similarly this is this was all about square now the cube of a is written as a raised to 3 3 means cube and the cube root of a is written as radical sign here 3 or if you don't want to use this radical sign you can write a 1 upon 3 that is cube root of a generally the nth root of a number nth will, will be any number okay till infinity any number a is expressed as a 1 upon n that is nth root of a 
Now, note the meaning of the following. Cube root of 125 cube root. As I told you, cube root will be 3. So, 125. This base you are going to write first. 125. And whatever the number is mentioned earlier. First, starting. This is cube. So, 1 upon 3. Or by using radical sign, you can write under root 125 and here cube. Now, sixth root of 729. As I told you, first write this base. Okay, 729, sixth. So, 1 upon 6. Or under root 729 raised to 6. Now, 7. Uh, 576 1 upon 7 this is the opposite if already this is number is given and you are going to write in a word form okay so first what is present what is the index 1 upon 7 so 7th you will be starting with the index 7th root of 576 now 800 1 upon 10 as I told you you are going to start with here 10th okay 10th root of 800 as I told you 10th root of 800 remember children if 10 1 upon 5 is equals to x then x raised to 5 is equals to 10 we have shifted understood I hope understood uh, now on this explanation our next practice set is based students now on page number 15 your first practice set that is practice set 3.1 is given in that two questions are there okay in the first you are going to express the following numbers in index form first sum i have done for you on left hand side okay so fifth root of 13 how to write the fifth root of 13 is 13 1 upon 5 now rest sum i want everybody to do it in your notebook mathematics notebook neat and nicely you're going to write now come to question number two write in the form nth root of a in each of the following numbers again on the right hand side downside i have done first sum for you as you can see nth root of a is expressed at 81 1 upon 4 this is the question and the answer is fourth root of 81 now everybody i want everybody to solve these questions in your notebook if any doubt is there you can message me okay students for today we are going to end here next practice set that is 3.2 and 3.3 we are going to cover in next presentation thank you